I'm gonna show you in this video how you can transform your old Android tablet into a JX dedicated display for your Victron setup. And I'm not meaning here uh, opening a web page on this tablet, I'm meaning installing a software from Victron Energy that's basically transform your Android tablet into a dedicated wireless JX display. And of course can be bigger than 7 inches. So in the next part of the video I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do this. So let's get started. Welcome back to CS Tech, Claudio here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can transform your old or new Android tablet into a JX dedicated display for your Victron setup. Basically, we're gonna install a small software on your Android tablet that will erase everything from your tablet and transform it into a JX dedicated display that will be Wi-Fi and of course you can carry with you around the house. So in our case, we didn't have any tablet here at CS Tech, so we go to our local shop and buy one. Our first idea was to buy a cheap Chinese tablet that is running Android, but after we checked the quality, we decided to buy this Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. First of all, it has around 10 inches and of course look pretty well and we will install in our new studio because over there we will have three Victron setup, two for educational purpose and one for production. So with this software installed on this tablet, we're gonna switch between them. So we have only one main display for everything. So this for us, it's amazing. Let me show you how we can install the software so please keep in mind you need to do something before install first of all you will need an android tablet doesn't matter if it's old or new but must has had around uh, android around 6.0 i think it is the minimal android that can be installed and of course you must erase to factory basically you will erase everything and you will be in this main screen let me show you so once you power on, you will have this main screen. In order to install the Victron software, you must scan a QR code. The QR code can be scanned opening the QR code scanner on this tablet. So if you want to do this, you just need to press seven times on welcome message. And after that, you can select the language. Let's select English United States for us for this video. Let's hit next. And of course, you will have the QR code scanner open. I'm going to put on the screen the QR code. For this video, let me open. Come on, I'm gonna scan. Okay, this code was provided from Victron. You must connect to your uh, Wi Fi. In our case, let's connect to our Wi Fi, Victron Wi Fi. Let's select Victron Wi Fi. Okay, let's hit, let's, let's hit connect and try to focus on the secondary screen in order to see something because I cannot record in this moment the screen on this tablet. Let's hit connect and after that we must go to Android Wizard because uh, in the end the tablet will still run Android. Basically Victron will install a small software over Android so each time Android boot will run only that software so this is the main trick that this tablet will become a dedicated JX display. So in this moment we're gonna wait a few moments for Android to, to boot up and of course in the end we're gonna go to Wizard for Victron. So I'm gonna skip now and I wait you in the next part when this software will be booted. You must agree everything that Android wants to be agreed. Let's agree and of course let's hit next. Select your country. In our case, we're gonna select Romania. We are from Romania, so hello from Romania. So this explains my English sometimes. I'm not speaking English so well because it's not our native language, so don't hate us. So you select the language and of course you will restart tablets. So I will skip now the video and wait to the next chapter when everything will be boot because the tablet need to be restarted in order to, to install the the Victron software. Okay, this device belongs to organization. Yes, let's hit next. Getting ready for work setup. So in this step, the Victron software is be, will be installed. So let's wait for software to be installed. Getting ready for work. Okay, I'm gonna skip, skip and of course wait you in the next part when will be booted. So we're back. Around one minute again. So after you reboot the Samsung tab, the Victron legal comment will be appear so you must be agree let's be agree come on i pressed okay agree set up your phone continue it's not a phone but has the same thing okay so in this moment the software will be installed okay let's hit next and 
Ukrainian. Let's wait for a few moments. Victron, you are agree with Victron policy? I'm agree. And in this moment, the tablet will go into Victron setup page. Basically, you have three options over here. On the top, you have Wi-Fi, you have select the device, select PIN. Configure Wi-Fi if you want to change the Wi-Fi password or Wi-Fi network that you already select at the beginning of this video. So if you move to another Wi-Fi, you can select from here. Select device, you can hit select device. And of course, this software will discover your uh, devices from your local network. In my case, I will choose connect. And of course, in the end, you have a pin. If you want to put a pin over here that no one can access your tablet. So in my case, I don't want a pin. So I'm going to hit accept. So in this moment, the tablet will be uh, reload and of course, in the end, will be connected to our Victron setup. So as you can see over here, this, this is basically my Victron setup. It's a real setup in, that it's working in real life. Let me focus. Come on. So as you can see over here, everything is working very, very smooth and in real life. Let's choose brief, for example overview and of course let's go into the settings and of course everything is very very smooth now if you decide to use this as a tablet or if you want to change change the wi-fi you must do a small trick so here under the solar yield you can press and wait for five seconds let's wait and after that the victron menu will appear and as you can see over here you have one option let's select keep this tablet on you have display settings once you go here you will go into android settings and from here you can select the brightness you can select everything on your tablet i will make it small because you cannot see in the video and from here you can go back into the victron page if you reboot this uh, tablet will restart again into this software so again let's press five seconds here let's go into the victron menu the display will be always on. Of course, you have here an option to select another device, search, search other devices, change the Wi-Fi, reload the web page, because basically this will be connected to your uh, Cherbo unit or Ecrano unit. And of course, you have factory reset. Once you hit the factory reset, the entire system will erase everything that is on this tablet and bring back the tablet to a uh, welcome screen that you already see at the beginning of this video. So this is the the way that you can install the Victron software and transform your old tablet into a JX dedicated display that become Wi-Fi and of course can be bigger depend of your tablet size. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech. I hope you learned something from this video and of course if you want to see more videos like this don't hesitate hit the bell hit the subscribe button and of course stay with us uh, on the channel. Don't hate me for my English I'm not an active English speaker so I will try my best to explain everything in English so if I misspell something sorry for that but this is my English for today. So see you in the next one. Bye.